All right, everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna do a little bit of virtual balance class. What we're gonna do to start up this class is warming up the side of our core a little bit, and that's gonna be with our TikToks here. All we're doing is bending to the side, nice and easy through our body. Good. So remember when we're doing this one, we're just reaching through the side of our core and not bending forward at all. Again, remember if you want to make this one a little bit more difficult, you can try reaching a little bit further towards each side as far as you can. And we'll rest on that one. Next thing we're going to move into is our hip circles here. Go ahead and scoot your butt towards the front of that chair as far as you comfortably can. Then what we're going to do is put our hands on both of our hips and make some big circles all the way around here. So remember we're trying to push that boundary, push that mobility, and try to loosen up those hips and back muscles. Going all the way around, trying to get as big of circles as possible. Go ahead and switch directions now. Same thing, just moving towards that other side. Nice and easy. And rest, perfect. The next exercise we're gonna move into is our reverse hurdles. Go ahead and act as if there's an imaginary hurdle running to the side of your chair like so. And then all we're gonna do is step up and over that hurdle behind you. Good. So remember we're trying to act like the hurdle is really there. And going all the way up and over. Try to make that hurdle the biggest you can Get over there. Good. And we'll rest there. Perfect. What we're going to move into next is our toe points and pulls. This is going to warm up our ankles a little bit. Go ahead and stick one foot out for me. We're going to point that toe as far as we can and pull it back towards us. Good. So we're going back and forth here, trying to get as much range of motion through that toe as possible. Good. And we'll rest. Go ahead and stick that other foot out. And we're doing the same thing here, pointing and pulling. Getting some good movement through that ankle, trying to get some of that stiffness out, working that muscle. And rest. Perfect. The last one we're going to move into is our shoulder taps. Go ahead and start with both hands to the side of your body like so. And then we're going to bring those hands all the way to our shoulders, trying to curl our hands. Good. And then we're going to extend those arms out and let those fingers go nice and straight. Perfect. All the way back. Touch those shoulders all the way forward and straight good touch and straight one more here all the way back touch and straight perfect what we're going to move into next is a little bit of body weight pressing and pulling exercise this first one's going to be our leg push downs Go ahead and bring one leg up, and then what we're going to do is push down on this leg as hard as we can for about five seconds, okay? So ready, set, begin. Push, 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 push. Drive that leg down. Push as hard as you can. And rest. Perfect. Go ahead and bring that other leg up, and now we're going to push down on that leg as well. Ready, begin. Push, 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 push. And rest. Perfect. What we're going to do next is the opposite movement of that last one. Go ahead and grab underneath your leg like so. And what we're going to do is try to pull up on our leg this time, okay? Ready, begin. Pull, 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 pull. Pull that leg up nice and hard. And rest. Very nice. Go ahead, grab under that other leg. 
and we're pulling up, 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 pull, 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 and rest. Very nice, everyone. The last two we're going to move into involve pushing and pulling the side of our legs. So what we're going to do is start with both hands on the inside of our legs like so, and then we're going to be pressing out on those legs as hard as we can, okay? So go ahead and bring those hands on the inside and ready, begin. We're going to push, 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 and rest. Very nice. Now we'll put those hands on the outside and we're going to push in on our legs. Ready and begin. Push, 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 and rest. Very nice, everyone. I know those ones can get a little tiring, but good work and way to push yourself. What we're going to do next is move into a little bit of balance. So if you are comfortable with standing and doing balance exercise, feel free to join me. However, if you want to stay standing for this version, feel free to do so as well. The first thing we're going to move into here is our balance shifts forward and backward. Go ahead and start with either foot forward and all we're going to do is work on shifting that balance forward and backwards. Nice and steady here. So we're really trying to shift all that weight into both sides. It's getting in our nice easy motion. If you're seated, go ahead and do your leg extensions. So we're just kicking both legs out, nice and steady here. Good. If you are standing and you are, haven't switched legs yet, go ahead and switch to your other leg and make sure we're getting equal balance through those shifts. Good. And everyone can go ahead and rest. What we're gonna move into next is now our balance shifts to the left and the right. So for this one, it's gonna be similar to that last one we did, except we're going side to side here. So we're kind of going in our tick-tock fashion, shifting all that weight to each foot, nice and steady. If you wanna to try to get a little bit of balance shift, but not too much, you can just shift your heels back and forth instead. That'll make it a little bit easier. If you do want that harder version, sit side to side though. What we're gonna do for our seated individuals is our reaches to the side. So we're gonna reach our feet as far as we can back and forth here. Going nice and steady, getting those feet all the way out as far as we can. Good, and rest. Very nice, everyone. The next thing we're going to move into is our tree pose here. This one's going to involve practicing our single leg hold. So how this is going to work is you're going to bring one foot to the side of your leg like so, and then all we're going to do is try to hold this pose nice and steady. This is the easiest version. If you want to make it a little harder, you can bring that foot up your leg even further as far as you can. Okay, so we're trying to hold that position at the bottom, in the middle, or at the top. Go ahead and pick one leg, try it first. If you're seated, we're going to do the same thing, but just try to bring that foot to the side of your leg. So this will kind of work your hip mobility a little bit. Still keep those arms to the side, and we'll hold that position nice and steady. Go ahead and rest. If you're standing, we're going to switch to the other side, doing that tree pose. So again, this is the easiest one, hardest, and the hardest. Good. So we're just holding that position. And again, if you're seated, all you have to do is bring that foot up to the side of your body and try to hold that leg into position. Just working our hip mobility a little bit. Good, and rest. Very nice, everyone. We're gonna move right along. The next thing we're gonna move into is our scales here. So this is gonna be another single leg drill. All we're gonna do is push both hands forward, one leg back, and trying to reach as far forward as we can, all the way back. If you do need to hold on here, feel free, and just reach forward with one hand instead. So we're putting that leg back, reaching forward. 
If we're seated here, we're gonna do our reaches forward. So we're going all the way, reach, 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 and come all the way back. Good. All the way forward, and all the way back. Good. If you're standing, go ahead and switch your leg. Do those scales with the opposite leg. Seated individuals, we're gonna repeat those reaches forward. Going as far as we can. And rest. Very nice, everyone. We got one last thing left for us, and that is going to be our step behind. So this is going to be another hip mobility drill, but it'll also take a little bit of balance. Go ahead, we'll start with our right foot and try to bring it behind our leg as far as we can, and then step back into place. So we'll step behind and back. Good. Behind and back. If you're doing this seated with me, all we're going to do is the same thing, going behind our leg and back. Step behind and back. Good. Nice and steady here. Good. And we'll rest there. Go ahead and we'll finish switching with that opposite leg. Again, we're doing the same thing, reaching behind and back. Behind and back. Nice and steady here. Good. And again, if you're doing this seated, we're just doing our reaches behind seated. And rest, very nice. Good work today, everyone. We're gonna finish up with our hamstring stretch to cool down. Go ahead and stick your leg out nice and straight for me. And then remember, we're reaching down as far as we can, trying our best to touch that toe, but really just focus on keeping that leg nice and straight for me. Go ahead and ease off that side. We'll stick our other leg out and repeat the same thing. So keeping that leg nice and straight, reaching down as far as we can and holding that position. Go ahead and we'll sit back up out of there. And we are all finished for balance class today. Thank you guys for joining me. Sorry we couldn't meet in person, but um, something's better than nothing. And I hope you have a good rest of your day.